Hello and welcome to another video from Fun Furniture. The topic today are tips for picking the perfect wood stain for your next do-it-yourself project. Okay, so I think this will be a great video and thank you for watching. Decks are exposed to harsh conditions including rain, sunlight, and the occasional barbecue sauce and red wine spills. Staining your deck and periodic refinishing are essential steps you need to take to keep your deck looking good for years. It all starts with a quality wood stain that can be awe-inspiring secret weapon to help bring back the luster in the natural woods gorgeous textures and colors. The good news is you do not have to be a master finisher to get professional results. Starting a wood stain project is a fantastic and fun way to breathe life into the wood furniture or cabinets or your deck projects. But if you're going to dive into a do-it-yourself project, we say, why not do it right? And before you shop for your next wood stain, reviewing some of the checklists and features in this video will help ensure with the quality stain that can help you get the job done to perfection. And keep in mind that safety is always best. Safety first. Why bring hazardous oil-based products into your home when you can get gorgeous results with minus the risk? There are eco-friendly water-based wood stains on the market that have what are known as ultra-low VOCs, which is a volatile organic compound. The mark of any good eco-friendly wood stain since VOCs are regulated for their toxic effects on the air quality and the ozone, the lower the better. When it comes to choosing the best deck stain, you've got several choices. In general, the more opaque the stain, the better its weather and wear fighting abilities. However, Lighter finishes let more of the wood's natural grain and beauty show through. So clear and wood tone finishes are designed to enhance the wood's natural color. Semi-transparent deck stains are lightly pigmented and let grain show through but go a long way towards changing the tone of your wood. Choose grays, blues, greens, reds, and browns. Solid and semi-solids nearly obscure wood grain but allow deep, vibrant colors. These are the toughest finishes. You can stain synthetic decking material, but the composition of synthetics varies so check the manufacturer's recommendations first. When staining deck boards, the decking should be clean and dry. That means staining as soon as possible after your deck is complete to prevent dust and dirt from accumulating on the surface of your deck. Apply stain when the temperatures are between 50 and 90 degrees and avoid staining in direct sunlight if possible. Sun dries out stain quickly and can create uneven color and brush marks. So check the weather forecast to make sure you have several dry days ahead. Apply painter's tape to any nearby surfaces such as siding that you do need to protect. Apply the deck stain with a natural bristle brush. A roller gets the job done faster, but brushing helps force the stain into the grain and pores. It's especially important to work the stain into butt joints where the two boards meet. Work several boards at once and avoid spilling 
or over adjacent boards or you will have splotches. Even the best staining jobs require periodic refinishing, usually every two or three years. So to keep your deck looking great, refinish at the earliest signs of wear. The biggest challenge for restaining a deck is to make sure it's clean. Sweep it thoroughly and use a screwdriver to clean out debris between the decking boards and butt joints. Clean obvious grill spills with a TSP solution. Apply a quality deck cleaner according to the manufacturer's directions. Thoroughly rinse the surface with a garden hose or a high pressure nozzle attachment. Pressure washing isn't recommended, but linger too long in one spot and you'll use too high a pressure setting and you're likely to damage the boards. Once the deck is thoroughly dry, sand down the fuzzy spots with 80 grit sandpaper and sweep up the residue. Then apply a fresh stain. You can change the colors by going darker, but lightening it up won't work. Applying a water-based stain, please keep in mind that they are quick drying and that it doesn't have to be an all-day job. Thanks to the typical drying time of 30 minutes or less, while your project is setting, the cleanup routine is fast and simple too with only soap and water needed if you're using a water-based stain. 